I am Batman. I mean, average sniper. Corny was that line. Sometimes they say really cool stuff in this game, like, I'm gonna frag this fuck! Or, I'm gonna waste every goddamn badge I see! And then sometimes they say some stupid shit like that. Sometimes I wish that announcer guy would just shut the fuck up. Oh, thank you, thank you. But anyway, uh, Average Sniper here. What's up, guys? Uh, just wanted to show you guys how you can make the strongest gun in Battlefield Hardline even stronger. You might think, Man, there is no way this gun can be any stronger, but it can be. Tell me this. If you're one of those people that grinded for the 300, you're probably real happy when you got it, but weren't you just a little disappointed that you can't really snipe with it? That it's pretty much just a 50 meter and closer range gun, otherwise you're going to get a hit marker. And the headshots that you have to get at long range, oh my god, you have to aim like three notches above their head if they're like 70 meters away. I mean, come on, that's just ridiculous. This shouldn't be considered a sniper rifle. Well, I'm going to show you how to get around that and how to make it snipe like normal or as close to normal as you can possibly get it. So, I was playing on the PlayStation 4 the other day, um, and uh, this game plays actually from Xbox One, but that's beside the point. And I was going for the knockout on the PS4, because some of my pl friends play on the PS4, and I want to get on there and be able to use a knockout with them. So, I grinded for two days and did everything I needed to do to get it. And uh, after I got it, I was like, man, it's uh, it's good, great to have a knockout, but god damn, I'm so used to sniping long range. I've been using the AWM, the R700, the Scout Elite. I want to be able to um, not just long range snipe with this thing, but just a little better than 50 meters. I mean, come on, people. It's not too much to ask. So, here's what you got to do. You know how you have different scope measurements that you probably never use. You have 0, 200, 300, 400, 500, and 1,000 meter ranges you can put on your scope by pushing the little down button on the D-pad on your controller. PS4 or Xbox One, PS3 or Xbox 360, don't matter. Push the little down button on the D-pad and uh, you will see that the scope changes ranges. Put it on the 200 meter range. This doesn't work on other sniper rifles because it fucks up the close range sniping. It does not fuck up the close range sniping on the uh, 300 knockout. In fact, it makes it more accurate. You just have to aim a little below the head to get that headshot. Any other shot to the body, if you accidentally like, you know, shoot them uh, like right in the waistline, you'll probably get the one shot kill. I mean, you can't shoot too low. But that's how it is. So this gun is going to work much better on the 200 meter range. And then you'll be able to get those long range headshots by just aiming a little bit over their head like you normally would with the other sniper rifles. I think a lot of people might not know this. And I, I think, honestly, it's because um, this game, uh, the Battlefield Hardline, the, the maps aren't as big as other battlefields, or so they tell me. This being my first battlefield I've ever really played. Um, but... You, you really don't have to use the longer dist ranges unless maybe you're playing Conquest Large on Dust Bowl and trying to snipe from like one mountain to the other mountain, but that's just one map, you know? Otherwise, who who would ever adjust to 200, 300, you know, 400, 500, or 1,000 meters? I, I wouldn't. I just aim a little over their head and pull the trigger. It works fine, you know? Um, but not with a knockout. So put the knockout on 200 meters, you know? And, and sorry if you thought there was going to be like some crazy patch or hack, there's not. I'm just saying, you know, the knockout is so much more effective at range uh, <laughs> when you have 200 meters selected. And if you already know this, sorry to waste your time, you know, if you don't already know this, then I, I hope I helped you out and I hope you enjoy this gameplay of me using the knockout and slaughtering these noobs at all kinds of distances. So this is Riptide, uh, one of my favorite sniper maps in Team Deathmatch mode. And um, I usually own on this map, but I don't always do good enough to get my kills in like the 30 or 40 range, although I have several times. But mostly um, I just like this map because I can get in this area right here amongst the dense jungle and the trees. Well, I guess you wouldn't call it jungle, let's call it foliage. Amongst, amongst the foliage uh, and the trees. Oh, um, and here's something else to consider, guys. 
even though um, this takes care of the issue with the bullet drop, it is a slower velocity. So remember, even when you're shooting long range, your bullet's still going to take longer to get there than it will with the other sniper rifles. So, but at least you won't have to deal with the problem of trying to aim so high over their heads, you know. Um, just so, just keep the 200 meters on there. That's one thing I hope they fix or patch or something. I hope they make it so the 300 knockout is actually a good sniper rifle for long range without having to do some stupid trick adjusting the scope to 200 meters for close range and mid range and long range sniping. But I've been playing with it on 200 meters for a while now. I didn't want to upload this video until I was 100% sure that it actually works. And I can shoot people that are right in front of my face that are uh, within the 50 meter distance or further than that. And when you get out further than 50 meters, I'd say all the way up to 200 meters, this trick totally works. If you're trying to shoot somebody more than 200 meters away, you, you might be playing Conquest Large and you might need to adjust the scope even higher, but that would be true with any sniper rifle in this game. So I really hope this tip helps you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um,. I hope you check out some other videos on my channel. Uh, if you're still looking to unlock the 300 knockout, if you just go to my channel, youtube.com slash eximum, E-X-I-M-U-M, -M, short for extreme and maximum. I know I made that when I was like 14 years old, so don't judge me. Uh, you'll, you'll see youtube.com slash eximum, you'll see a tutorial for uh, how to unlock the 300 knockout. There is an insane amount of things you have to do for it. I wouldn't say that it's incredibly hard to unlock it, but it is very time consuming because you have to do a whole bunch of different challenges. You have to get uh, two professional assignments done, you got to get 20 camera kills if you combine them all, five laser trip mine kills. Uh, you have to get thousands of sniper kills because uh, the final professional syndicate assignment tells you to get 200 sniper kills, but you can't even start doing that until you get the fucking uh, gold, ser gold service star for uh, the professional class. And you can't, you, I mean, it takes like, I think I, it took me about 1500 kills before I got the uh, gold service star the other day on my PS4. And it was just pretty, pretty intense. You got to play a lot of hot wire so you can get your tier four reps ten times in ten different matches. Uh, if you find a good game, you can get that done in about two and a half, three hours. The rest of the stuff uh, ain't too hard, except the uh, I guess everybody bitches about the camera coins. Although I was able to get all of mine in a in a couple hours. I think I just know good places to put my cameras or whatever. I don't know, but anyway, I mean, so much more effective. That's all I'm saying. I know I've been talking about a lot of different stuff, but back to the knockout. So much more effective with 200 meter distance put on the scope. Don't even try to compensate, you know, for the close range shots. Like, you might be like, oh man, I need to aim lower or something like that. You really don't. Even if they're, like, right in front of you or mid-range, you can still aim, like, right on their forehead and get the kill. The bullet drop on this gun is fucking fantastically bad. Um, so putting the 200 meter range on basically makes it, like, a totally normal sniper rifle on uh, zero meter zero to a hundred meter range so it is really man damn look at that getting getting clips getting clips up in this bitch getting clips in this piece man oh yeah of course get killed by that guy jeez I think I shot a guy phase in his name does he think there's a nine out of ten chance he's really in phase who cares who the fuck cares about phase Ah, so, uh, what's up, dudes? I mean, now you know the trick, so go out and do it. You know, when I was making the title for this video, I was thinking of those those ads I see on the internet that, that only dumb people click. Like, uh, uh, get, get a fucking eight-pack abs with this one simple trick. Or, if you're between the ages of zero and 100, try this one simple trick to save money on your car insurance. Or, if you have a penis, try this one simple trick to make it 80 times bigger. So, yeah, this ain't that type of video. I'm just telling you guys what's up. So, hope you enjoyed. Like, favorite, subscribe. I'm out. Peace!